Hello, happy Thursday morning. It is Thrifty Thursday, and my name is Meg, and this is Chasing Retro. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you so very much. I appreciate all of you, and I read all of your comments. Um, so, Thrifty Thursday is a collaboration that is an open collab, and it's hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. I will link her below. And you can participate any way you wish. You can show just items that you get for junk journaling or any thrifty finds that you uh, come across for your home, for um, a, just a little personal gift for yourself, whatever. Um, it's always fun to see what everybody else finds in their part of the country or the world. Um, so today I have a very, very small Thrifty Thursday. I did not uh, go to any new yard sales or antique shops or thrift shops this week. But I did do an eBay order from my one of my favorite new eBay sellers. They're not a new eBay seller, they're new to me. Uh, the seller is named Wood Beach 01. I'll link their uh, eBay store below. But they just have a lot of random vintage items and whenever I see a paper item at a good price, I snatch it up. And they're always really good about combining shipping for me and I always get things incredibly fast so this is um, a little set of ideals that I ordered from this seller last week and they arrived this weekend as you can see two of them are relatively old you can kind of tell by the font and then the other three the other four are 70s or I think mid 80s so not too old, but as you know, Ideals has a classic look anyway, and whenever I see them at a really good price, and these were at extremely good price, I grab them if I can to hold on to or to save to give to friends or whatever. So some of these have some, looks like something sticky got on them and then they were pulled apart, but to me that does not matter because I don't use the cover. The pages are still in great shape. That's probably why they were so cheap. but. Uh, I pulled this one out first because I am working on gathering things for a couple of Christmas journals. This is one of the ones from the 80s. Let me see. 1984. Yep. So, they have a lot of these monotone drawings like this. I'm not going to go through all of these because you guys probably know what ideals are like. They're just very classic. And if you don't want to use a whole page in a journal as a book page, um, you can always just fussy cut some of the beautiful images out. And a page like this, I probably would not, I would probably cover the back with wrapping paper or something and then use the side. But um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So, so even though this is in the 80s, it looks a lot like the ones that were from the 50s and 60s. I got the Christmas one, and then I got this older Easter one. Again, these covers are in very rough shape, but the inside are great. This is 1972. Yep, 1972. So you can kind of tell by the artwork that it's 70s. And then this look at those seeds for sale. I love spring. How to decoupage. Decoupage was a big, 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 big deal in the 70s. <laughs> I tried to decoupage a chest, like a uh, trunk, shipping trunk, I guess you would call them, for my dorm room and did not do very well, but it's okay. Nobody was going to see it but me and my roommate. Here's a Mother's Day. Um, Mother's Day, 1956. Sorry, 86. <laughs> My brain has not woken up yet. Love that. That's a, Look at all the pinks and reds in that image. And then I got a Valentine issue, which I don't really have any desire to make a Valentine junk journal. Some of you may. Uh, I love Valentine's Day. But for some reason, I just don't really, this is not one of the ones that's high on my list, but I love to look through books about 
Valentine's Day. Here's another Easter one. There's a lot of letters. It's like somebody bared down on something. Um, 1987. Beautiful. And then here is another Easter. 1966. This is the oldest one in the bunch. Oh, I love this story. When Jesus calms the storm and his disciples had no faith. And yeah, beautiful. I love how they bring the Victorian images back in almost every issue. Simple homestead images. So that's exciting, a little replenishment of my ideal stash. And then the other thing I bought from this seller was all of these recipe cards. I got all of these cards for under $4, I think. And there's a variety of them. We have these that fold out. I love those. And then, actually, I'm excited. These are my very first strawberry I know they make different kinds, but this is my very first strawberry recipe cards that I've ever had. It's going to be really hard to get rid of these. Now, these are evidently made by Scott Towels. It was probably a promotional of some sort. And then we have some peppers and some pepper. <laughs> and then some spices. Aren't these cute? And then we have some fall vegetables there. And the this little, you've seen this little classic wood stove. These are actually from, um, I put it on my Instagram yesterday. I think it's current cards. But I actually found the ad for this, these in a work basket magazine. And I thought that was so fun. I have a lot of these. And then I have this. Isn't that the colors are just so cute? And the font, it's like a Western font. That might be the last design. Yep. So that was, like I said, a very small Thrifty Thursday haul, but a little haul nonetheless. So I decided to do a quick video. And then the other thing I was going to show you was just more progress on getting my Christmas journals ready. Here I have a small pile ready for fussy cutting. I'll just like to keep those separate um, as I pull things out so I'll know what I need to cut and what's already ready. And then I bought this at a yard sale recently. You may have seen it. Um, but I'm going to use this as my sorting tray. So I'll put, like in this one right here, I've got vintage ads that I will turn into tags or journaling cards or possibly collages. And then in here, I'll put fussy cut. I may have to use two for fussy cuts. And then I'm not sure what I'll do in the other one, maybe some small ephemera. And then I have another strawberry tray that I bought at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. <laughs> it's a serving tray and it's, um, on one side of it, I put, I guess, components to um, what I'm going to use to make journaling cards and tags and tuck spots and um, like side pockets, larger images, I guess. And then on the other side, I put all of the pages that I've ripped out of books that I will use as actual junk journal pages. And it's not quite wide enough for both of these to fit nicely, but it serves my purpose. And when I need to move everything away, I can just stack these two trays and move them. And then on Tuesday, I told you guys that I had some wrapping paper from Cindy. And I went and pulled it out to show you slash remind you what I have. I'm just going to start pulling all of this out because this bag is shot but it's one of those 80s gift bags that you would get at these little gift shops and I love it and I just don't have the heart to store my, wall, my wallpaper and gift wrap and anything else. Um, I'm just making sure there's no other Christmas stuff hidden in here. I have this, this is not really old, but this is current cards. 
I bought this probably five years ago, but to me, it just looks mid-century. So I will probably use this um, as a page. Let me put that on my, on my page tray. A lot of this wrapping paper I got at a yard sale last October, and I remember the month because it was probably the best yard sale I went to all of last year. It was just amazing. A lot of 80s in here. And if you saw my 80s journals or purchased one, you probably have some of these in it. This is just adorable. And then this is another one of those gift sacks that I've cut up and turned into a, something else for a journal. And then I have this beautiful blue, almost like a wisteria. Another little sack. Okay, here's one of the pages from Cindy that I will be putting in my pile of things to use as pages and or this will probably be a page and collage fodder or journaling cards because it's so busy and you can cut smaller pieces off of it. This is one of my favorites. I don't know if the colors are showing as vividly as they really are, but this is some bright fluorescent red and pink and I love that. Then These beautiful presents with some pink. Cindy just spoiled me with this. Okay, maybe this is my favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, this just looks like, it almost reminds me of like Brady Bunch. I love this type of flowers. This will be so fun to use. And this is that really thick, almost craft paper style. It's matte, it's not thin, it's not shiny, it's not brittle. I think that was the last piece. And okay, what do I have in here? Gift wrap. Some of this I remember buying at my favorite thrift shop last year. This is a wallpaper sample. This is cute, but I would not call this retro Christmas. This is more 80s, so I probably will not pull that out, but isn't it adorable? And here's some Tim Holtz wallpaper. I probably need to not store these in here because I kind of forget they're here. <laughs> um, there's really none in here that scream Christmas to me, so I'll probably leave these in here for now. This is an unopened package of probably wedding gift wrap for one of the good guys. These are just some small pieces I clipped together. Here's some ornaments. Um, I got this in an ephemera pack that I ordered off Etsy and I'm just waiting for the right time to use it. I'll probably put it in a handyman journal. And then I have this, which was inside of a piece of furniture my mom bought, just some folded wallpaper samples. And that I'll find the right place for these eventually. I know I will, because they're very French looking. And topiary. Another wallpaper piece. Oh, by the way, Carol, Thank you for asking about my neck and shoulders. So much better. Our chiropractor is amazing. And two visits, I thought it was gonna have to be three, but I, I believe I'm on the other side. I think I slept crooked. And you know when you're over 40, it doesn't take much to make you injure yourself. Evidently sleeping can hurt you when you're over 40. <laughs> I woke up kind of bent, hunched over, and I knew when I woke up, this is not gonna be good. This is 80s, I love it though. Um, I will not put this in the retro journals, but it even says 1986 Art Fair. And this is a beautiful, um, probably 90s piece of foil maroon. Um, this is, I've used these in some retro journals, but this is Happy Birthday, isn't that cute? It's more of that craft paper type style. Here's a little sack. This sack cracks me up. <laughs> Happy 
happy birthday, dude. I may use this. I might even fussy cut these. These are, I mean, these, these can be utilized in a retro journal, especially if you cut away that sort of dull background. Um, this is pretty old. I wouldn't say it's retro, but it could, it could be retro. So I'll be gluing this to some file folder to make some ephemera. Um, let's see. I think the rest of this is quite 80s, but maybe you'd like to see. Look at this. I've been holding this one. <laughs> I don't want to use it. And I think there's a, yep, it's one of those double. So here's more of that red dot. This reminds me of the kitchen on Full House. We watch that show as a family every night. I grew up loving it and my kids love it now. My husband bought me the box set a few years ago. And then pansies or violets. And Garfield. And graduation. And this awesome one, look at that. And this is a double one too and it has some cherries. I have one little tiny piece of Superman left. Isn't that amazing? I used to love to watch the Superman movies with my dad. And we have some jungle. Exercising Snoopy. Cherries again. I have a lot of this surprise wrap. And then this is like a generic sci-fi, almost like a Star Wars knockoff. Um, I'm hoarding this too because I want to make something for my husband with it, but I haven't figured out what. And then here's some birds and owls. So, um, yeah, I found a few pieces to pull out. And then lastly, the only other thing I didn't show y'all the other day was a few more books that I have that I forgot I had. This, I bought this when I was into collecting glassware. I still love vintage glassware, but I don't buy much of it anymore because you can only store so much of it. Um, but this basically, this book is out of print, but you can still purchase it on Amazon, I believe, and occasionally on eBay you'll see it. <clears throat> but um, there's, you know, limited quantity, but um, it is still for sale if you're into vintage glassware. And it goes through every one of the major glassware manufacturers and all of the patterns they produce in what years. It is exhaustive. It's kind of like one of those depression glass books, but it's just painted glassware. So in here, the reason I pulled this out, there are some Christmas ads in here. This is just pictures. There's some poinsettias. But I, when I flipped through, I saw Santa Claus. So I know that there's some ads actually in here. Let's find one. Here it is. And it says, here it is. <laughs> this is Bartlett Collins, 19, mid 60s. And then they came out with three designs for Christmas that year. So things like this, I'll usually cut around. This size would make a neat flip out and you can write on the back. I love how the backgrounds of some of these ads are black. I'm assuming these are photocopies of the original catalog that would have been shipped to stores, like a wholesale catalog. I'm sure all of you remember these orange juice decanters. I have one, but I don't have the matching glasses to go with it, but we do use it. The key with all of this is you have to hand wash it because a dishwasher will strip the color off right off of that paint. And I don't really love hand washing, so we'll pull it out for special occasions, but not every day. And a lot of these manufacturers also made milk glass, but those are not in here. Hazel Atlas was known for their milk glass as well and children's tea sets and stuff like that. 
I don't see any other Christmas ads right off. Libby. Libby still makes stuff. Nope, no Christmas. Those look like candy canes, though. Peppermint. <laughs> so I'll probably just cut out that Santa ad and use it. I think these are so pretty right here. I would totally use those. Mm -hmm. And I love the banding, where they do the banding, either raised or painted. I just love that look. It looks very Art Deco. I don't see much West Virginia glass in stores near me, except for Blendo. I just, I didn't realize they made Blendo. Um, and every time I see Blendo smoothie sets or drink sets, they are extremely pricey, but they're cool. They're really cool. Okay, so now you got a little flip through this book if this interests you. These would also make great collage fodder as well just because there's so much to look at. And then this is a Christmas Ideals that I got. I think I mentioned it in the last video. I got it at an antique shop and I've already taken it apart. In fact, now that I look through it, I think I showed it to y'all. Um, but I have this here to pull from. I found this at a thrift shop in Florida. And though it's not retro and it's animals and not people. A lot of these Richard Scarry images, he he started illustrating in the 60s, so the style is still very reminiscent of it, and I will probably do some fussy cutting out of here. I just thought this was a cute book. It's got glitter. And then these three, I don't know that I've shown y'all these yet, and if I have, I'm so sorry. Um, when we went up to North Carolina for a vacation this year, I wanted to take the kids to some areas where I had spent my childhood. And we went to my dad's seminary uh, in, on the campus um, of Southeastern Seminary in Wake Forest, North Carolina. And I wanted to go in the library because I, I remember my dad was spent a lot of time there. He was in seminary when I was a small child, so I remember it very well. And they had this cart right inside the door, a junk journaler's dream. It said, free discards. <laughs> Take as many as you want. And I about fell on the floor. So they had these. Um, I don't really know who makes these. Let's see if there's a... The American Annual of Christmas Literature and Art. Osberg Publishing House. They're very large, but they're extremely... Just gorgeous. The paper feels like almost like Arches watercolor paper. Um, it is just beautifully textured and the images are extremely vibrant. These pages are, are not the Arches, but these in the ones at the beginning feel like they're almost frame worthy. And then they're just very large, beautiful, <clears throat> breathtaking, honestly. Um, images and then they have some a little more these look kind of like ideals book pages but then they have these are a little more boring but they're just informational articles about the history of candles um, here's an article about the artist Dewar. Um this, this one is cool it's kind of like a pen and ink but it's red <clears throat> and it's just a little Christmas in the country story so it, this would almost be gorgeous as gift wrap, wouldn't it? And then we have songs and little snippets from different countries, Christmas traditions. So, yeah, this was, and then there's another thick page right here that looks like it should be taken out and framed. And I bet many people did. That is so pretty. And then I've already taken the cover off of this one and used it, so these are just loose pages. I actually have four of these. Um, but they, the dates range from, 
This one's 44, so it's in the middle of World War II. And you can see we have some servicemen and women in this choir. These are just beautiful pictures of our past, and I love them. And it's really hard. I scanned a lot of these to use in my personal Christmas journals that I was keeping and giving away, but I know I can't do that to sell. So it's going to be um, a little bit of a heart heart tub to use these in look at those colors to use actual pages but i will i've had them for almost a year over a year and i feel ready to use them now <laughs> how long do you hold on to something before you feel like it's expendable it takes me quite a while to get over my hoarding of things that are kind of hard to come by beautiful. So some of them are have been library bound as hard bound and some of them are soft cover. Oh, this was the one that I took the pages out of. So I don't know what in the world I'm going to do with this, but this is pretty, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, that um, little journey into the other things that I have pulled out for the journals and a little small thrifty Thursday haul. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Thanks again for your kind words and comments, especially on the last video that I posted. And I'm excited to be in this with so many of you guys together, supporting each other, encouraging one another. It really is special and I don't take it for granted. I hope all of you have a blessed and wonderful Thursday and I'll see you next time. Bye.